Hey guys, Auto273 here, or better known as Melody Sweetheart nowadays. I am here with my VTuber model, which I just finished streaming with. And the stream stuff I use, the streaming, the streaming thing I use is Twitch Studio. Now I had a lot of trouble setting it up because no one's really sure how to get a VTuber to work on Twitch Studio. Which, to be fair, because Twitch Studio doesn't work with transparency, it's a little difficult to get the system that I'm using, which is VC Face, to work with it. But as you can see by my beautiful setup, I've managed to do it. So I'm going to be sharing with that and the rest of the internet how to do it, because that way other people who use uh, Twitch Studio can figure out a fix. Now, I will note this isn't perfect, but it's better. It's the best I've been able to manage. So... We're going to start by opening up my scene stuff. <laughs> so for this, I have uh, my setup set up in three different ways. I have my VTuber background. I have a screen share of my VTuber that I can edit as I please. And I have um, the foreground for my table. Now I'm going to turn off the chroma key, which is what I'm using to show the background. Now, what I have is uh, 310A's transparent background. So, first of all, if you don't know how 310A works, which I will open up my main screen share to show that. Whoop! That's a little weird. So, for my main screen share, I'll hide this foreground. I've got the 310A. Oh, I've got. Sorry, not 310A. <laughs> VC face open. And. I'm gonna just take away this transparent background to show you what I did to set up uh, my ability in order to get this to work. Basically, ooh, I didn't mean to press avatar selection. Basically, you go to effects settings and you go to bloom and enable it. That's the first thing you gotta do. Once you have bloom it enabled, as far as I know, the color doesn't matter. I didn't adjust any of the color settings, but you go to bloom, you enable it, and then, you make everything transparent, as already, and how you do that basically is touching that little X and then pressing save spacebar to get rid of that. And we shall transfer over back into my area. So as you notice, I've got my foreground, I've got my background, and I've got my VTuber thing edited so that I can see how you know, it all works so that I have this. What I want to do next is we're going to open up a chroma key and I'll just initially show you how the chroma key works. So I'll redo it. So we're going to delete the chroma key and we've got this right now. So next, first what you're going to want to do is add a chroma key and it's going to be initially set to make sure that green is undone. So as you can see, my hair and everything is transparent, but that's not the right color. So you're gonna press edit chroma key and just change, woo, and just change it. To me, I just had it set as a black background. And for similarity, turn it all the way down. Now, as you can see, it's not perfect yet. Uh, some stuff is still weird. I turn edge color correction all the way down to zero and then for edge transparency you're going to want it to be 0 0.001 now this is the lowest you could possibly put your number at why do, can it why does it need to be exactly 0 0.001 because if i were to put it at 0 0.002 you end up having transparent eyes which is a problem because I don't think anybody wants to see the back of your chair in this. As I said, it's not perfect. You, if you look up above me, you've got like this little line that moves, but it's not very noticeable and you could put something in the area above it so that it's less noticeable. But in my opinion, I think this looks pretty good for not being able to do much. That's my little tutorial on how to use VC Face with Twitch Studio and get it to look good. 
Remember, if you like it, leave a like and subscribe, and maybe I'll do some more uh, V Studio or VC Face Twitch integrations working thing. <laughs> Twitch Studio, how to get it to work with Twitch Studio. I'm still learning myself, but I thought it would be nice to have a video out there since, uh, from what I've seen, I haven't been able to find anything and I had to figure this out myself. This was complicated. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye!